A project along San Francisco Bay is mer merging architecture with wildlife conservation. Spencer is back with the details for us. Okay, Kristen and Dan, we're now about a year into the experiment at Chrissy Field, and the early results are providing a potential blueprint for the way we might build in the future in the face of climate change. It's heavy. Wildlife ecologist Jonathan Young is sloshing into the waters of the Presidio's newest tidal marsh to see the difference a year makes. His focus, oysters now making themselves at home in a variety of prefabricated pods and panels put into service beginning last November. The goal again is to maximize oyster recruitment, so get them to come and settle onto these panels to grow. The project essentially began with the opening of Quartermaster Reach, a restored tidal marsh stretching inland from the edges of Chrissy Field and connected by a culvert system allowing salty bay tides to mix with a historic freshwater stream. Young showed off raised panels temporarily removed for inspection during a recent dive. Like the dome-shaped pods placed in the marsh itself, the panels provide the native Olympia oysters a home to attach themselves to along the cement walls of the culvert. All those are oysters, 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 oysters. All those are oysters. And that's the goal. We want more oysters. The oyster introduction is actually an ongoing experiment, not just in urban ecology, but design evolution and in the way we adapt our cities and coastline to climate change. The textured fiberglass panels were specially designed, created with the help of Evan Jones and Margaret Ikeda and designers from the California College of the Arts. I think it's, it's really part of a, a, a very new way of thinking about infrastructure, design, and ecology together. You know, the San Francisco seawall, they're going to be protecting both airports. Um, the Port of Oakland is looking for different strategies. So this kind of work definitely informs. Young says the Presidio team is still learning about the physics of the tidal marsh, which areas the oysters will thrive in and what other species might be benefiting along with them. And as renovation projects continue along Chrissy Field, the marsh will evolve as a kind of living petri dish, potentially giving ecologists and engineers innovative designs that can be duplicated around San Francisco Bay. Things are changing and we need to adapt. So these are opportunities to use science to advance our knowledge. Indeed, we need to adapt. A number of cities around the country, including Seattle, are experimenting with urban designs meant to bolster local fish and wildlife populations. Dan and Kristen. Fascinating. Nice job, Spencer. Really interesting work being done.